Another nuke. <laughs> Boom! Hey guys, this is Vadim with Max Tech, and in this video, we're gonna be comparing the gaming performance between the 2020 iPad Pro and the brand new Galaxy Tab S7. Now, we already did a full comparison where we compared the designs, the displays, and basically everything about these iPads. It's actually a very long video, like 20 minutes, really in depth, so definitely check that out after this one is over. But for this video, we're gonna be comparing the gaming because as you guys know, both of these have 120 hertz displays, but unfortunately most games actually don't support that yet. So we're gonna be playing some Call of Duty Mobile set to 60. And what's really nice is our top camera right above is the brand new Sony A7S III, which can shoot 4K at up to 120. We're gonna be doing 60 for this video, but yeah, it's gonna look a lot better than our previous gaming comparisons. So before we get into the actual gaming, I do wanna mention the performance differences. The iPad Pro was able to outperform the Tab S7 in basically everything from the processor performance and the graphics performance as well, like almost double the performance, which is really impressive since this thing just came out. But let's go ahead and get into the gaming with Call of Duty Mobile. So we're gonna start off with the iPad Pro first, and this is the 11 inch model. Let's go into the graphics settings. Unfortunately, you can't have max frame rate at the same time as very high graphics quality. I'm not sure why, because the performance of this tablet is just insane. So we're just gonna do high and max, and we're gonna do some multiplayer. Let's do some team deathmatch. Man, this display is ooh, very immersive. It's like these guys are all bots, man. This is too easy. Boom! So what's really nice about this iPad compared to the other iPads is that you get quad stereo speakers, so two of them on each side. So it's really nice for, for example, tracking footsteps and just hearing where enemies and gunshots, gunfire. So far the experience has been really great, perfectly smooth. You can't really get a better experience on any other iPad. Use nuclear bomb. Sure, let's do it. Nuke, kill. All right, what's my score? 30 kills, zero deaths. That's hilarious. Are these even real players? Like, they're probably all bots. What's really nice about this iPad Pro is this design where you have square edges and a flat back. It makes it really comfortable to hold this iPad Pro, especially with this rounded corner display. Really, really nice. What's up, bro? Totally heard his footsteps. Quad speakers. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Have I died yet? I've gotta say that it's much better with a game controller. Just so much easier compared to like holding it in your hands. You know, you can actually just set it down. Another nuke. <laughs> Second match, guys. It's hilarious. Come on, boys. Boom! As you can see, the gaming experience is pretty good on the iPad Pro. Literally just got two nukes in a row, playing against probably all bots. So from playing on the iPad Pro, everything's perfectly smooth, running very well at 60. Hopefully, Call of Duty Mobile gets 120 FPS support very soon, because that is gonna feel really good. 31 kills this time, zero deaths. With that, let's go ahead and switch to the Galaxy Tab S7. So here's the tab and I'm instantly noticing a couple of differences. First of all, it has more of a tall aspect ratio. So when you're in landscape mode, it's kind of wider. So that could be a plus or a minus depending on what you like, but I personally like this. Feels pretty good. And one thing we noticed from our full comparison was that the speakers on the Tab S7 are much better than the ones on the iPad Pro. Samsung, they did a great job. Whoa, this is weird, guys. I'm getting very high graphics quality, but I'm also getting max frame rate. We did not have that on the iPad Pro. Even though the iPad Pro is significantly more powerful in both the processor and the graphics, so it's gonna be interesting to see how much better the graphics quality is. 
All right, so far, for some reason, the graphics doesn't really look that much better, to be honest. Cool, got him. Oh, come on, bro. Yeah, I mean, this feels great. Even though we're at a higher graphics quality, everything feels super smooth still. What's up, bros? Oh, you can't, oh, he got me. Yeah, I just died. I didn't die on the iPad Pro. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I died on the tab. Very nice experience on this thing. Come on, bro. Ooh, ooh he's good. Yeah, that's, that's not a bot. I'm not really seeing that much better graphics quality. I mean, still seeing like some aliasing here, which is weird. Oh, let me get you. Yeah, you got him. No, this is smooth, guys. This very well optimized, even on this thing with higher graphics settings, I'm pretty impressed. I almost want to say that this feels better or more smooth than the iPad Pro. Really responsive, no issues at all so far. What's up, bro? Got him. Ha! No, this feels great. I like this new design, the uh, squared off edges feel really good. I like that they chose to go with this new design. Oh, you guys see that? Headshot, <laughs> that was so bad. At least you got a headshot. I've gotta say that this thing's 650 bucks compared to 800 for the iPad Pro. I mean, you're really getting a lot for your money, like really great speakers, perfect performance, at least in this game, running it incredibly well, 650 bucks, and it comes with the S Pen included as well. But I'd say that with the new design, this thing is excellent deal. Boom! All right, boys. That's it, you guys are done. Triple kill! Oh, come on. Oh, we won by two points. Now in our full comparison, we did notice that the iPad Pro had better display quality in general, like deeper blacks, it was less reflective, and the colors and everything looked better on the iPad Pro. But the Tab S7, it actually does have a 7 Plus model that has an AMOLED display that still has 120 hertz. And that one is gonna look pretty nice, probably better than the iPad Pro. Let's see, 15 to six, not too bad. All right guys, there you go. I just played some Call of Duty on both of these premium tablets and I think I'm ready to give my gaming conclusion. First off, you guys can see both displays are off right here. I don't know if you guys can tell from the top camera up there, but you can tell that it has deeper blacks on the iPad Pro compared to a more gray-ish display for the Tab S7. But with all that said, I'd have to say that my gaming experience was basically very similar with both of these. They both ran the game perfectly well, but for some reason the Tab S7 was able to get higher graphics settings, and even at those graphics settings, it played just perfectly smooth, so I guess the winner goes to the Tab S7 because it just worked perfectly smooth, no issues at all, no real drop frames during gameplay, it worked very well. And as far as the design and the premium feel, honestly, the Tab S7 caught up now that it took on basically the same design with the rounded edges, the flat back. Really nice and premium, just like the iPad Pro is. Now the iPad does get the advantage of having the massive iOS app store where everything is basically optimized for that specific device and you're just getting so much more games, so much more apps, so that's really nice, but if you look at it in terms of the value for the gaming experience, honestly, it has to go for the Tab S7 because you, you can get this for 650 bucks, including the S Pen, compared to $800, not including the Apple Pencil, which is another 130 bucks. So with that said, great gaming experience on both of these, probably the best tablets out there, but for the dollar, the Tab S7 is definitely the winner. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this gaming comparison video between these two tablets. And if you haven't already seen our full comparison, go ahead and watch it right over there and click the circle above to subscribe because we're gonna be getting in the iPad Air 4 next month and doing a bunch of extra comparison videos. So definitely do that and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.